this is how I get my MMI 2G on Q7 and also the 883 to run Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So the components that you need is actually the Audi TV tuner. For 2G you use 4E0919146 and for the 3G you use 4F0919129 so I had never tried a 3G because I don't have one but I've seen people get them working you need the Android TV box because the Android CarPlay and Android Auto USB dongle only works with the Android OS so I use the dongle that use the Zbox app which is a very good one and I use the capacitive touch screen for the MMI screen I think with CarPlay you do need the touch screen it's so much better than the uh, air mouse you can use the USB microphone for the iMessage and the most important thing is that if you want to watch movie you need to turn on the video emotion in the MMI this one you do need the OBD2 with the software like the VCDS OBD11 or Carista so now I'm going to go through the schematic if you look the TV tuner has three output that we need to connect the first one is a 20 pin output this 20 pin has AV1 and AV2 AV means audio and video they have power in also and you need the optical for the MMI to see analog TV and also you need a video out to go into the MMI head unit you can use the video output to go straight into the head unit if you don't have the RVC controller or if you just you know retrofit the F bus circuit the F bus circuit is actually on the MMI head unit that is including the green factor connector and it exists on the 4E0035729A if you have the RVC controller you will connect the video output to the brown connector of the 4E0910441 you also need to splice the power which have three pins positive, brown and yellow or the green and this one uh, the 12 volts the brown is at the ground and the green with sense now you need the Android TV box and if you look at the Android TV box they will have the AV app you need the audio video to come out so there's two ways to do that is the AV app composite and also the HDMI I prefer the composite output if you use the HDMI to composite you need a device called the HDMI to AVI and this one sometimes you get a bad one it doesn't work that one the output of the audio video will go into connect to the 20 pin audio video AV1 or AV2 you need also to make a 5 volt cable because the one we they sent is 120 volts to 5 volts so you need a 5 volt USB power so you need to make that cable to plug into the cigarette lighter 
to power up. You need the USB port so that you can plug in the USB CarPlay dongle, the USB port for the capacitive touch screen, the USB port or the USB microphone. So actually you need three ports minimum. So that's why sometimes you need to have the USB hub because the one I have only have two USB ports. This is the screen that you will see on the MMI screen is our Apple CarPlay. In your phone, go to setting general, you will see a CarPlay app already installed. If you click the CarPlay, you will see the profile of the device that you hook up to. So I have the eGolf, so it has the profile of Volkswagen. I have two Android CarPlay Genova for the Q7 and also the A8, so they have both. When you click the profile, you will see all of the apps that can be displayed on the screen, so you can access to it. You can add more or you can delete them. So this is how the CarPlay interact between the iPhone and the MMI. Auto installed in this phone, okay? This is Google, Auto Android. G. So all the MMI 2G or 3G or whatever, uh, you actually need a video input. It's called AV into the MMI. For the 2G and 3G, I believe they have the um, TV tuner that you can add. So the part number is uh, 4E0919146. This one will work with Q7 also. Actually, almost all of the um, MMI 2G, so I'm not sure about A4, A6, but Q7, I know it works. A splitter for the optical, also. Okay, so this is a 20 pin connector. Okay, so this is my custom made 20 pin cable, AV1 and AV2. Also audio input, audio 1 and audio 2. Now this is the power. So I make it so that I use FACRA to make sure that it will stay solid. And this is the power in. And I make, and this one is power sense. So there's three wires for power. Okay, so I want to splice the power from this one here. So I'm going to use this as a splicer. Okay, so all the power is spliced and done. And we ohm out. Actually, we measure. We got 12 volts coming out. You also need a FACRA video to the head unit. Either go through the backup camera. So most of the car come with the backup camera. You have that box already. RVC controller, so you just need to take a FACRA from here, go to the, um, the box. The connector is going to go here, and the video from here is going to go through the RVC controller, and it's going to go into the MMI screen up front. So the CarPlay actually is a dongle that works only on uh, and this is one of the Android TV that we need so that we can use the Android Auto dongle. This Android TV should be able to have AV out instead of using the HDMI or the AV output and the cable for the 
AVR output, first ring or the third ring or whatever, is the video. This box right here is on the second ring, and this one is on the fourth ring. So you have to uh, figure out which one is the right one for your box, and this is the uh, composite output. So I make my own. The first ring is the ground. If you don't have the AV output, you have to use the HDMI to uh, composite. That's more work. You also need this one, which is the USB audio output and input. It should have as many USB ports as possible. And the best one to you is the Android 7.1.2. Normally they should have the touch screen built in already. So we we'll just plug the USB touch screen. So this is the CarPlay and Android Auto dongle. We need to install the ZBox app. We need to download it and configure into the Android TV box. And this is how you want to plug it in. So when you plug it in with other phone, they will say phone not found. And when you plug in your iPhone, they will see phone connecting. And then it will come up with the CarPlay. Now if you plug in the Android phone, then it will connect to your Android auto install in your phone already. So make sure you use a 2.1 amp USB power it up. Okay so the 2.1 amp and this is the cable for the uh, 5 volts power. And this one is touch screen capacitive plug and play USB. One good thing about the uh, touch screen And when we want to go back to the main menu, just touch the uh, the car. Go back to the main menu. Scan? Nope. Let's look at the gauges and see what they have.